In this video, we will be looking at surfaces a little bit in detail. In the sidebar, we come to rectangle plane. You click. In the top view, if you design the rectangle plane, you are basically drawing it on the C plane. If you want to draw it vertically, we would rather draw it in the front view. So I come back over here, I again select rectangle plane, but this time I draw it in the front view. So if you see this, you have drawn it vertical to the C plane. I select both the objects, I hit the delete sign, I again go into surface, rectangle plane, three points. So the first point, I press the shift to make a straight line, second point and the third will define the height. There you go. Again I select delete. This is your vertical plane. Let's say in the, if I'm in the top view, I click click and I drag See this there you go you made a vertical plane and if the same thing if I draw in the front view I come back over here I draw a vertical plane one two and there you go see this so that's vertical plane fit plane through points so you minimum you need three points so first point second point third point I have created three points fit plane through points first point second point third point enter you have created a surface going through these three points the next option is cutting plane let's say I make a 3d box and now let's say I want to cut this object into two and I want to split it into two objects so I can come up to surface I can go to cut plane select the objects for cut plane so I'll select this object I press enter and in the front view I basically draw a line so you see it basically creates a cut plane for you that's your cut plane I'll change the layer let's say if you want to split this object so I go into edit I go into split so select the objects to split I want to split this object enter select cutting objects I select the cutting plane enter now you see it's created two objects you can see one and two now when I move this object to the left there you go so this is a different object and this is a different object So in this video basically we have seen the different options for surfaces. We have already seen surfaces previously. This was just trying to go a little more in detail regarding the different types of options we have under surfaces.